Today, we are going to present a new telemetry framework that enables cloud scale telemetry for hyperconnected networks. Uh, my colleagues, uh, Surendra Anubolu and uh, Niranjan Vaidya, uh, will be uh, presenting uh, their sections uh, in a few minutes. I am Bhaskar Chinni. I'm a product manager responsible for telemetry solutions. So, next in networks. A lot of today's networks actually are um, getting hyper-connected and the complexity is growing. We all know that. The interesting aspect is enterprises are deploying diverse set of applications. There is a lot of innovation happening. They are taking advantage of that and the diversity of applications is growing. According to a report from Wall Street Journal, the application usage in enterprises has gone up by 68% over four years. So that we find is interesting. In addition, 80% of the companies either using multiple clouds or planning to use multiple clouds soon. And that means the workloads are getting distributed and hybrid. So that results in um, gaps from a monitoring point of view. The device density is also growing. Um, almost 50 billion devices are expected to be connected to the web. Uh, according to some reports, that number can go up to 75 billion by 2025. What does it mean? It means the applications are growing, the uh, workloads are getting distributed, and the number of packets that are going to go through the network is you know, going to be available than we have ever seen before. So as network complexity grows, the visibility comes down. And that means it becomes uh, difficult to uh, troubleshoot the network when problems occur. Almost 43% of the alerts produced by uh, current tools are false positives. And because the enterprises are using a lot of tools to gather data from the network, and you know, considering these false positives, uh, it is becoming uh, you know, the, the MTTR, the mean time to resolution is going up, and that is negatively impacting the application experience. Why application experience is critical? Because applications is the uh, backbone of the enterprise, right? And uh, today's networks, they are uh, going by the application experience to measure the success of their enterprise uh, network operations. The time is very high. Almost, it's like uh, $21.8 million on average, the enterprises are losing an average per year due to downtime. Imagine an airline has to reimburse uh, their passengers because of flights due to network downtime. And, that, and also, you know, on top of that, imagine the uh, negative impact that will create on their brand and the share price, you know, the cost is going to be high and it is going up. The average cost, the uh, cost per hour for IT downtime is also going up. Obviously, uh, you know, there is a big range here, uh, depending on the size of the enterprise and how critical the IT is to their core operations, et cetera. Like for example, if you take a, um, a trading platform, the cost of IT downtime is a lot higher to them compared to, let's say, a small enterprise. Also, when, Whenever uh, you know, a mobile application takes a longer to load, it's not just a downtime, even the latency also matters. Whenever it takes a little, little longer to load, the users abandon the application. And sometimes the companies may not be aware that there was a small disruption because their tools don't uh, track those uh, disruptions or unable to track those disruptions, but they lost their customers. So all in all, given these challenges, it is very important that we keep the application experience 
the best. And that means we need a new telemetry framework in these challenges to deliver the application experience to ensure that network availability. I'm uh, proposing this uh, new, uh, the root cause analysis becomes a very fast, like in just of minutes, by solving the packet drop monitoring issue. A lot of enterprises, the network operators have to offer SLAs to their stakeholders. You need flexible mechanisms to monitor uh, latency and congestion so that you track those metrics and ensure that uh, you know, the SLAs are met. We saw 43% uh, of the alarms are you know, false positives. That means uh, we need a, a crystal, a precise anomaly detection mechanism so that um, uh, the resources are uh, you know, properly used and uh, the productivity goes up. And we believe we can do that through inline analytics. We will explain more details about um, RCA, SLA monitoring, and anomaly detection in detail in a few minutes. In addition to these um, uh, three uh, key uh, sections that I mentioned, a good application monitoring framework, like a good NMS ecosystem, is required to take advantage of all these innovative, excellent features coming from industry leading silicon like Broadcom. Broadcom enabled such um, ecosystem, and uh, you know we have our own um, in-house uh, uh, developed um, application uh, like a Broadcom AI apps. This is the tool that we acquired through uh, Computer Associates recently. We support third-party collectors because the format that we export is uh, open, and a lot of our hyperscale customers they use their own homegrown uh, collectors. Um, uh, to uh, you know, receive that data and integrate into their network operations. So we have a, an extensive um, NMS ecosystem supported on top of this framework. As I said, today we are introducing a new framework and that is called Broadview Plus. Network management system, and network monitoring has evolved over the last couple of decades. The first generation was primarily driven by SNMP. A lot of you folks are aware. I have seen your profiles. You know, you guys are very technical. So uh, it is all about the NMS gathering, uh, you know, telemetry by polling the network. So you get the data periodically every few minutes and do offline analysis. It worked okay for uh, you know to some extent for uh, root cause analysis, but um, there is not much support for you know uh, the uh, SLA monitoring or uh, uh, anomaly detection because there is no streaming telemetry happening from the silicon, from the uh, even from the uh, switch system itself, and uh, uh, there is no packet level granularity of the telemetry either. Then what happened? The second generation of evolution came, and these these technologies are primarily driven by uh, you know packet sampling technologies, NetFlow, if you will. So that they got, uh, they improved the uh, root cause analysis mechanism a little better, but the, the streaming telemetry is not very scalable because uh, it is done by the um, operating system, the network OS not by the silicon, and um, the uh, an analytics is uh, very limited, um, exported by the silicon. So uh, you know it becomes very expensive to build a good SLA monitoring uh, system using that infrastructure and those technologies. And uh, similarly, uh, because the um, uh, analytics support is limited, uh, it doesn't support all use cases. We are proud to introduce Broadview Plus. Um, this offers uh, a best root cause analysis mechanism. Uh, I'll spend uh, uh, you know, a few minutes explaining details of this. And we also have a demo to show, an excellent demo. Um, we, we are very proud that this uh, root cause analysis mechanism can be best addressed by Broadview Plus telemetry uh, framework. And a big, also uh, the silicon itself is doing a lot of processing of the data. So uh, earlier, as we saw in the first and second generations, the data is uh, collected from the network and a lot of offline analysis happening. 
Whereas if the silicon, if the switch itself can process a lot of that data and then focus on the, um, you know, only those alerts that are important to the application, then the network, the switch system and the application um, and the monitoring application um, scales better. So we, what we call that as inline uh, silicon analytics is supported by this framework. And uh, streaming telemetry, the silicon itself can do the streaming of the data, not involving operating system that as done in the previous generation, as I mentioned. And we have a great uh, mechanism to uh, analyze or to collect packet level uh, telemetry. You know, what happened to every packet level? We, we will discuss, you know, how that scales and, you know, what can be done. Those, uh, those are valid questions about scale, but we will uh, discuss those uh, in a few minutes. So overall, this uh, framework um, really, uh, we believe, helps um, address the uh, today's uh, network's requirements and um, deliver the availability, uh, network availability and application experience.